Hi everyone, my name is JP and welcome to Dad and Ilanga YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching our video, we're giving free contents for self-improvement, life tips and tricks, and helpful reviews. And for today's video, I'm going to share with you the top 5 things where you can start to declutter. So if you want to know and learn where and how to start your decluttering, this video is for you. So keep on watching! benefits that you can get from decluttering and I shared from my previous video about the five common benefits. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll put the link in the description box below. So if you want to be motivated to start your decluttering, I highly recommend that you may watch that video after this. And for those who are not aware what decluttering means, decluttering is an action of getting rid of those things that we're not using. A lot of people are interested to practice this decluttering habit. However, most of us, we do not know where and how to start with. And to help you palanga, here are the top five things where you can start to declutter. Number one, personal belongings. For me, decluttering should always start with our personal belongings like our clothes, shoes, accessories, gadgets, and other personal items. It will be hard for us to declutter other things where in the first place, we are afraid getting rid of those our personal items. And it's also very common to us that we're keeping and storing a lot of personal stuff to our bedroom, our cabinets, drawers, or in our bags. And most of our personal belongings or personal stops that we are storing or keeping are no longer using. Examples are faulty items that we're trying to repair, multiple accessories we have, a bunch of clothes, and other personal stops, whether big or small. There are also times that it's hard to let go some of the things that we're seeing with sentimental value, like the gifts that we receive from our friends, or gifts we receive from our loved ones. And let me remind you of this palanga that a true owner is the one who is in control of his things. And if we are afraid of getting rid of those unnecessary items, that means that those items are controlling us. And it doesn't mean as well that letting go of those sentimental items are also letting go of the value of it. A true value can only stay permanently to our heart and not with those items. And as the owner of those personal items we have, we should have the control of those things. Especially with those unnecessary items we have, you can go ahead and throw it, donate it, or sell it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do a big decluttering session. All you need to do is to do it little by little. For example, you're going to start with your bags today and then tomorrow or the next time you will proceed with your cabinets and drawers and other spaces you have. And once you're able to accomplish and start decluttering your personal items, it will be easy for you to declutter other items in your home. Number two, papers and books. When I was studying in college, we're always using handouts in every classes. In every end of semester, I have collected a bunch of photocopies, test papers, and other school papers. We also tend to keep some of the papers as we're seeing that we'll be using it in the future or just in case. An example of those papers are bills that we have, receipts, and other documents. But the reality is, most of the papers that we're storing or keeping are not really necessary for your current and daily living. If you already graduated and no longer studying, it's time for you to let go all of those paperwork that you have from school, like test papers because they are no longer necessary for you. Or if you move to another job, it's time for you to let go all of those work papers that you have from the previous job. And aside from papers, you can also go through with all of the books that you're storing. Maybe it's time for you to let go some of the books that you have done reading or the books that you don't want to read anymore. You can go ahead and throw those unnecessary papers, donate the books that you're no longer using to the other people who really need it this time, or maybe you can sell it so that you can earn extra income. So if you have some important papers that you really needed to keep, especially paper bills or receipts or other important documents, you can go ahead and take a picture of it and then send it to your email so that you can convert it from a hard copy into a soft copy. That's actually one of my habit that every time I purchase a specific item like appliances or gadgets that I really needed to keep the receipts for warranty or for future purposes. So I always took a picture of it and then sending it to my email to my own self so that I can keep it as a soft copy and then I can just go ahead and throw those receipts away. There are also some papers that we really needed to keep as a hard copy but those are very minimal like our birth certificate, 
TOR and other requirements when you're going to apply for a job. You can go ahead and separate those important documents into just one folder and then get rid of those unnecessary papers because keeping minimal papers that you have, it will be easy for you to find it in case that you will be needing it in the future. Number three, goods and products. Most of us, I really love storing foods because it gives us a peace of mind that we have something to eat in case that we are hungry or craving for it. However, there are some foods that we are storing that we don't like to eat anymore and yet it consuming the spaces that we have from our refrigerator or from our kitchen. Now, it's time for you to go through with those products or check those expiration date because Possibly it's, it's been expired already for a long time and you really needed to throw it away. And aside from foods, you can also double check those medicines and also vitamins that we are storing, cooking products, and the other grocery products that we have purchased before. Maybe some of those products has been expired as well or not being used for so long and maybe it's time for you to take a necessary action to it. And the good thing with the cluttering of our goods and products is for us to be aware what we currently have so the next time that you will go to groceries, it will avoid us from buying duplicate and multiple products that we already have at home. There is nothing wrong when it comes for storing products and goods however if we think that we're not really going to use it in the future or there's no chance for you to use it or cannot be used anymore so it's time for you to let it go decluttering those unnecessary goods and products will save our spaces from our refrigerator or from our kitchen drawers plus it will maintain our home clean and tidy and number four, boxes and packaging. Every time that we're going to purchase things or items, whether big or small, it always comes with boxes or packaging. And because of those beautiful packaging or big boxes, we tend to keep those boxes and until we haven't noticed that most of our spaces at home has been consumed already by those boxes and a lot of packaging. Although boxes can really be used in the future but not all the time. Sometimes it will just give you an option to store a lot of clutters. And now this is also the best time for you to get rid of those boxes that you have purchased with your appliances a long time ago, boxes from your gadgets like from your phones and other personal gadgets that you have, wrappers from the gifts that we received before, and other packaging. And just like what I'm doing with receipts, for example, there's an information from the packaging that you really needed to be kept. You can go ahead and take a picture of it and send it to your email. So you can keep it as a uh, soft copy and you can go ahead and let go of those packaging. So instead of being bombarded with so many boxes and packagings we have at home, it is time for our home and spaces to be free and tidy. And last but not least, number five, digital spaces. When is the last time that we have checked and deleted some pictures that we don't really need or maybe some files or other applications from our digital spaces? Or maybe some of the pictures are being duplicate and there's a lot of files that is not really necessary that we still keep storing from our digital spaces like our cell phones or our tablets or maybe in your computer that also cause the reason why it's getting slow. And now this is the best time for us to declutter those items that we have from our digital spaces. We really don't need duplicate pictures or duplicate videos to store from our galleries or you know, saving some a lot of files that is not really necessary. I know there's some important files that we really need to be kept, but instead of storing it to our digital spaces, it is much safer to upload those items or those files online or clouds or with emails or to, even to our social medias. The good thing of decluttering some of the items we have from our digital spaces will also give us a peace of mind that those items are completely safe, like just in case that we lost our phone or all our files from our device has been corrupted so we have a backup we have an option to retrieve those information or retrieve those items online plus the benefit for this it will give us more spaces to our device storage to run smoothly and not just only some files and pictures but also with our email inbox and also messages that we have in our phones. Maybe it's now bombarded by a lot of marketing emails that we're getting every day or maybe scam text messages that we're getting in our cell phone. So it's time for those things to be removed and be deleted. And one of the reasons why sometimes we are lazy to check our emails is because of multiple emails or unnecessary emails that we're getting from our inbox. There are times that it's hard for us to find some specific 
email or some specific messages because there's a lot of emails that we are keep storing and most of them are not really necessary. Let's go ahead and get rid of those emails that we really don't need. You can also unsubscribe with those marketing emails or even with our text messages. You can also get rid of those messages that is not really necessary or maybe we can block those text messages that we're getting from scammers. So those are the top five things where you can start to declutter. Again, number one, personal belongings. Number two, papers and books. Number three, goods and products. Number four, boxes and packagings. And number five, digital spaces. There's a lot of things that you can start with decluttering, but for me, those are the common things where it will be easy for you to start with. I hope this video gave you an idea where and how to start your decluttering. If yes, please give us a thumbs up. If you have something to share, don't hesitate to comment below. And if you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell notification button so that you'll get updated every time that we release a new video. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Again, my name is JP and I'll see you all on my next video.